Trevor with Barbecues Galore here. We get a lot of customers asking us how to hook up their barbecue to their trailer Quick Connects. So if you've got a Quick Connect like this, there is a chance that you'll be able to hook it up to this Quick Connect. Um, only certain barbecues are able to do that though. So uh, I have an example here of the Porta Chef. It's a great little unit and it has a hose and regulator on it. So we are able to remove that hose and regulator and add the connection hose that you would need to hook this to your trailer. So this is a really simple one to do because you'll just unscrew this hose and regulator and add this new hose and plug it into your quick connect and you're ready to go. Um, other barbecues are a little more complex. Uh, if you look at this guy over here, this is a little Weber. And if you want to do this off of your trailer, you can actually do it because the valve is separate from the regulator. So you're able to remove this regulator and with a fitting that we carry at Barbecue Scalor, add a fitting and then the hose so you can then run it off of your trailer. Now if you've got a Coleman or uh, some of those other types of barbecues that are purchased at box stores uh, that have a regulator that looks like this, unfortunately there's no way you're going to be able to hook that up to your trailer tanks. Uh, this would double regulate the propane and therefore cause the flame to be only very, very, very small. So if you've got a regulator that looks like this on your barbecue, you are out of luck. However, if you've got a uh, Weber, Napoleon, or a Burl King, no problem. We can definitely get you the fittings you need to do that. And we'll show you on the trailer how you plug it in. So once you've converted your barbecue to be able to run off a quick connect, hooking it up is super simple and it'll run off the main tanks of your trailer. So what you'll do is just take that hose that you've converted and go underneath your trailer to the quick connect. Good idea to have a dust cap on it, so make sure that you've got one of these so it doesn't get filled with road grit. And then push the quick connect back, insert the tube, and then turn your valve to the on position. And now you're running off of your propane tanks on your trailer and not hauling around disposable one pound tanks that are bad for the environment or alternative small propane tanks.